Murray State head basketball coach Steve Prohm is hosting his final summer camp this week. The camp is for kids in second through seventh grade and takes place at the home of the Racers. News 3 sports reporter Gabby Sorrentino shares how Coach Prohm, his staff, and the Racer players are earning some new fans. The Murray State men's basketball season is still a few months away, but players were on the court at the CFSB Center today getting some work in with a hundred of their new fans. Self-control, all right? Head coach Steve Prome is no stranger to Murray State youth basketball camps. He enjoys running the camps because he believes it not only benefits the community, but his players as well. The opportunity uh, for these campers, these young, you know, boys and girls to interact with our players, uh, their parents, the grandparents, aunts, uncles, our supporters, uh, to see our guys working, continue to build that relationship and that connection, I think is huge. Today marked day three of the four-day camp. The theme was Jersey Day. Campers wore their favorite players' jerseys. The most popular, no other than John ja Morant. For the campers, these players are their new idols. And Razor players say that is pretty special. You know, it's, it's a fun experience. You know, I have kids look up to me. I have uh, younger siblings, so, you know, I'm used to having, you know, being a role model for them. So, you know, just being an inspiration for these kids to one day be a future racer. I remember being a young kid at these camps just looking up to the players like, oh my gosh, like thinking of royalty. So, I mean, the kids look up to us like that. So we just try to take, th take that into like consideration and be nice to them for sure. With 13 new players on the team, the New Look Racers are happy to have these campers support them all season long. In Murray, Kentucky, I'm Gabby Sorrentino, News 3 Sports. Thanks, Gabby. The four-day camp wraps up on Thursday. This marks the Racers' final basketball summer camp this year.